go, dude. Hello, hello, YouTube family. How are you today? I hope today is wonderful. You see my little one in the background? Say hi. He's so cute. And he's being so good for me while I get this stuff together. So, as I am starting a new practice of doing this in the morning, clearly it is not the morning, but it is the afternoon. And so, um, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I'm just turning to my notes here. So we started 28 days of gratitude and today is day one. Okay, day one, count your blessings. Um, and I'm really trying to get, get, I guess get the videos out the night before. Um, so you know what to look for in the day. So I'm gonna post this one, I'll probably post another one, okay? So day one is count your blessings. When I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. And this is so, so very true. When I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. I remember back in 2004, 2005, I went to church and there was a church sermon there. And um, the sermon was saying, how can we ask God to bless us with so many different things if we can't be grateful for what we have now and during that time my mother was looking for a new house she was trying to purchase a new house and it just seems like things kept falling through for us we lost money we lost houses it was like we just can't get a house for anything so when I heard that though the pastor was saying that we need to take care of the things that we have and one thing we weren't doing is helping my mother take care of the house we didn't clean it was just, it could be like whatever, and it was her responsibility. So I would try to take, make it a point that I would put some type of help within the home, whether that was to clean the bathroom or clean the kitchen or clean, keep my room clean. I wanted to do something to show God that we are grateful and that we do deserve a house, that we, that we can be grateful for the things that, um, that he has for us and that we, we could take care of our next level in life. And in 2005, we were blessed with the home and we, my mother drove us. Um, I want to say before that though, I went to an auction and I had bought this picture. It's kind of like a, a, just a long rectangle picture. And it said, count your blessings. And it has sheep, like you would be counting sheep to go to sleep it's while you're counting the sheep or instead of the sheep, you actually count the blessings that you have. And so when we got to the house, my mother surprised us with the house. You know, she doesn't tell us where we're going and we drive into this driveway and I just immediately go into tears because I'm like, wow, God um, blessed us with so much and he blessed us with the house finally. And so as I went to each room of the house, I just start pouring and pouring out tears and pouring out tears of gratitude. I was so grateful. So you want to look through, and it wasn't just that, but that's, that was the turn of my life when I realized what gratitude does for you. A couple of years ago, I also put a poster by the front door of our home. And so we had to know what it was like to be thankful. And so I had asked everyone in the family because at this time, um, I was still living with my siblings and uh, we were back in my mother's home. And so as we were going through that transitional period, everyone needed to write what they're thankful for on their way out. And um, I still have that post and it's just full of different things, different people's opinions of what they're grateful for. So I was thankful to just have that. So um, look up that quote by Willie Nelson. When I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. No matter what you're going through, focus on what it is to be grateful, not on what the negative is, because that is, if you put your energy toward negativity, you'll get negative things back. But if you put your energy toward positive things, you'll get positive things back, okay? So um, when you're grateful for the things you have, no matter how small they may be, you will see those things instantly increase. If you're grateful for the money you have, however little, you will see your money magically grow. If you're grateful for a relationship, even if it's not perfect, you will see it miraculously get even better. Yes. We got a new book to read. Okay. <laughs> um, so if you're if you want to be thankful for a job, you'll see 
your your job getting better you want to be thankful for that dream job and your current job will get better and and perhaps that you may be blessed with a better job seriously um the flip side is that when you're not counting our blessings we can fall into the trap of unintentionally counting negative things we count negative things when we talk about the things we don't have so it is imperative that we focus on the positive things because if not we will start counting the negative things and criticize or find fault in other people when we complain about traffic waiting in lines delays the government not enough money or the weather we cancel out our blessings that were on their way so we don't want to cancel out our blessings we want them to come to us so we need to be thankful for those things even if they do not like it so if there's traffic thank you for the the lanes to be open thank you for traffic to move slowly thank you for the all the lights to be turning green start thinking that way so it says here that Rhonda tried to count, uh, tried to do both, counting blessings and counting negative things. And I can assure you that counting your blessings is the only way to have abundance in your life. All right. So first thing in the morning, as early in the day as you can, count your blessings. You can write it out, um, write out your list by hand, type it on a computer or use a special book or journal and keep all of your gratitude in one place. So I, I suggested yesterday that we get journals, gratitude journal, desire journal, all these different journals. And um, that way you have ability to write out. And it's so good to write um, because you'll think differently. Your critical thinking skills, it'll start to run smoothly. So if you're not used to writing, I love the tool of writing because I feel like I think so much differently and it runs smoothly. Um so when Einstein gave thanks, the thought about why he was grateful. When you, okay, sorry. When Einstein gave thanks, he thought about why he was grateful. So when you think about the reason why you're grateful for a particular thing, person, or situation, you will feel gratitude more deeply. So remember that the magic of gratitude happens according to the degree of the feeling. Gratitude is a feeling. So we're trying to become more in tune with our feelings um, and our emotions and what we actually feel when we are being grateful and thankful for something. Okay? So with each item that you would write about when you count your blessings, you want to um, write out the why. So for example, here's some ideas for writing your list. I am truly blessed. See the sun hitting my face? Feels good. Um, so you want to write, I am truly blessed to have whatever it is because of blah, blah, blah. I am so happy and grateful for blank because blah, 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 blah. So I'll say, I am so happy and grateful for the sun right now because it feels so good and refreshing. All right. I am so grateful for Cedric here because he's showing his love to his mommy and makes me feel great and appreciated just by playing with my hair, like those little things. With all my heart, thank you for giving me life. You know, thank God for giving me life because through my life, I know that I have purpose no matter what I'm going through, okay? So once you finish writing out the 10 things, and why you're grateful, you want to read them out loud and then just close your eyes and feel it all through you and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? To help you feel more gratitude, you can be grateful to God, your greater self or, you know, some different things going on. The book actually says to help you feel more gratitude, you can be grateful to the universe, God, spirit, goodness, life, your greater self, or any other concept you're drawn to. I I resonate with God. I want to thank God for everything he does for me. So when you direct gratitude towards something or someone, you will feel it even more and your gratitude will have even more power and create even more magic. So there are some gratitude subjects. If you want to write this in the front of your journal, this will help give you idea. Health and body, work and success, money, relationships, passions, happiness, love, life, nature, planet Earth, air, water, and the sun, material goods and services, any subject of your choosing, you can be thankful for. All right? So 
You should feel significantly better and happier after each time you count your blessings. And how good you feel is your measure of how much gratitude you felt. The more gratitude you felt, the happier you will feel and the faster your life will change. Some days you will feel happy really quickly and other days it may take a little longer. But as you continue to count your blessings every day, you will notice a bigger and bigger difference in the way you feel each time. And you will see your blessings magically multiply. Okay, so I love today's. Today is day one again. Please go back um, and, and go to your gratitude notebook. If you need to rewind the video to um, listen to the topics again, do so. And write out 10 things to be grateful for, why you're grateful for them. And then read them out loud. Close your eyes and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I hope this helps you and I will see you in the next video with day two.